am an ambassador for handmade so i feel like every day i have to get up and represent because i have other people's work to sell i'm not only selling my work i'm selling the work of other local artisans and in many cases these people are dependent on this money for survival so um i feel like i have a responsibility you know people think you own your own business you can do what you want but these are technically my employers as well because i am selling their work so those paintings are done by my friend Cherise Castle Blue. Cherise is this multi-talented human being and I am so proud that I could display her work at my store and that I could always tell people about her. She's written over 11 books. She makes the most exquisite jewelry and then she also has these works of art that she, she has done. So I just like knowing that I am around people, the, the energy of such creative souls dwell here. Like, you know, whenever I have low moments, I can look at probably something somebody else does and get inspiration and strength from it, you know. These pieces are done by Talia Braffitt Nero. She is a Trinidadian living in London. And actually she is the person who inspired me to be creative because she had done a, a handbag making course in London and she was making handbags and I was thinking but I'm creative how come I'm not doing anything <laughs> and so when I came back to Trinidad I spent a year praying to God to find my creative side and ironically Talia came to Trinidad a few years later and I convinced her that maybe jewelry was her thing more than handbags and today her jewelry is sold all over the UK, all over the Caribbean. Her brand TM Boutique is widely known by many and I, I feel proud. I don't I feel such a deep sense of pride because I feel like this is the person who helped me and continues to help me on my journey. are made out of paper by Jasola's the lovely young lady from Marabella she lets her daughter draw on her drawing book whatever and then she takes it and wraps them and makes them into beads you know just such creativity fascinates me you know this is an old CD that she put in the oven and look at how it changed color and texture and she was able to make a beautiful pair of earrings out of it my plan to grow my business is well i think that in these times it's two tier i need i am working on my digital platform as we speak because my market is not just limited to trinidad and tobago um it's prior to opening my store and when i used to just do jewelry i sold my stuff in england in the in the US, in Denmark, and so I know that I've had exposure and most of my, my most of Talia Braffitt Nero, she's in England, um, Dana James is also in England, my friend Alice Bain from Grenada, different people, we are connected to the diaspora. So online seems like obviously something we probably should have done like a year ago or so but we are working on our digital platform to get our work online i would like to say i'd like to be like uh like the etsy of the caribbean or for just people to be able to buy handmade locally and you know choose handmade but you have to be where people are so one place people are is on the digital platforms and it's really just to capitalize on that if somebody's now starting out i tell them be brave be courageous and just have faith entrepreneurship is like a roller coaster ride right so if you don't have the belly for it stay in your nine to five be happy because one day it could be up like someday somebody could come and they spend so much money you're like good thing good and then the next week <laughs> you struggle to even get a customer so i mean it is really my advice is to you have to go with faith are you called to be an entrepreneur and not just choose entrepreneurship because it's a buzzword? Um, I literally feel that I have been called because six years in, I'm still here. And I mean, I've had many, many reasons to give up. But um, 
it's who I am now. I am an entrepreneur, and I and I feel like an entrepreneur should not be mistaken for a small business owner. I feel like an entrepreneur is somebody who courageously also does new things, expand your business, you know, try new things, con consciously and consciously do things to take what you are doing to the edge. Because anybody could sell handmade, but it is to find the passion and to find the way to reach the people who need to buy handmade. I feel like that's really important. I have pop-up shops from time to time, and I always remember there was this time this lady brought a whole set of stuff from the States, um, nice, glitzy, glittery things, uh, you know, probably bought from China, or whatever, cheap jewelry, but it was bright and, you know, and people were rushing to it. And you could see that they have so much less interest in local stuff. You know, if you go to buy a soap, a cheap soap, you could buy a cheap soap for $7, but a handmade soap is about $20, $25. And it's how do you get our people to appreciate the work of local artisans. One part of it is the cost of materials for our artisans are high, right? So my role is to provide raw materials at an affordable price for locals. But again, really, I feel like as a country, that's when one of the things where we fall short, not appreciating to buy local or handmade or put value to the things that our local artisans are bringing out. So one of the things we do is we also equip people to become artisans. We do all kinds of training in terms of the sphere of being a local artisan. You can learn to make a soap, you can learn to make candles, you can learn to make jewelry. In the past, we've taught people how to make yogurt. We've taught them how to make goat cheese. It's limitless things that you can teach somebody to do. They just probably need a three hour course to figure out, is this me? Is this what I want to do? And you know, take it from there.